Emily's yeah. just flown sky free for the first time this year. Um, she was free lofted over the winter, which I don't think she's been free lofted before. She's, uh, I think she's our only uh, two. We've only got two second hand birds, if you like. Um, the lady that trained her did an impeccable yeah. job. This bird's got the best manners. It's just, it's just perfect. Anybody can hood this bird. It's almost we actually her job. Part of her job is to be a, a training bird for hooding and things like that, which is really, really rare that you get a bird that you let anyone else hood really. Um, she's just gone free, but because she's been free lofted, she's actually fitter than she was after being tethered for quite some time. Made a real difference to this bird. She's just done about six passes, her own choosing, because she didn't bind to the lure on the second time. But beautiful bird, really lovely manners, and not even panting in this hot weather when she landed. So I think this year will be the year that Sky actually becomes a really regularly flown falcon, which will be lovely for her. Snails mating. Hello you guys, welcome back to the vlog. We're gonna have almost a whole day off today, work this evening, and we're out with little Lily. We're <laughs> playing already. And we're out in the countryside. We're gonna go and look at a place that's got limestone grassland, supposedly orchids and butterflies. Um, we actually ran out of road because we went the wrong way. So we've had a picnic in the van. Beautiful countryside. And we're gonna go and find this, this little bit of sort of grassland meadowland. Something to say, which I reckon you can hear now, is something that's a perennial problem that's gone on from the beginning of the vlogs but uh, friends of ours sort of actually sort of really said Dave you've got to sort the sound quality out on these videos so the trouble is sometimes like I say there's a light breeze and when you play the videos back on the phone there's no wind noise at all when you edit and make the film there's no wind noise at all on that app and then when you put it on something like a tv it's really balked by terrible wind noise and interference from the wind and the, and the poor sound so this one no change but yeah something i've got the kit somewhere that i'm gonna try the trouble is that's a a, a, a microphone uh with a little fluffy thing on it to deaden the sound the downside is and this is why it's never changed from when this was a problem at the beginning these videos are all off the cuff off the iphone i don't plan them or, or script them and i see something beautiful maybe and i get the camera out and film it for you guys and then it becomes, I think, I need to find the kit, plug it in, and it becomes all scripted and wooden. So that's why it hasn't been rectified. But yeah, time to sort it out. So bear with me, and I will. So again, excuse the wind noise. We're at a place called Collie Western Quarries. Lovely nature reserve. There is nobody here. I mean, this is heaven. And it's famous at this time here for sort of yellow rock roses and things. Look at this. And the butterflies. Look at these. Butterfly haven. Seen quite a few. Let's see what else we can see. But it's my kind of place. I mean, there is no one anywhere. It's like we're in sort of on the edge of a ghost town or something. Oh, this is what you want if you do, if you're really busy and you do get a day off. It is actually to feel like you're on holiday, somewhere different, surrounded by nature. And I've got to say, peaceful. Here's a lovely orchid, a little 
gem that is. Look at that. In amongst the bed straw. Over here. Important food plant from many a butterfly caterpillar. Wild thyme, just gorgeous. I say this all the time, but this really is one of my favorite butterflies because in Northamptonshire, oh, they were not common. In fact, I didn't ever see any. And they've become much more common now, the marbled white, beautiful. And again, it's more, so just, Beautiful butterfly. Absolutely gorgeous, like all butterflies, I guess, but stunningly beautiful and yet almost colorless. And like this, beautiful orchid. Found a couple of rare beauties. Oh. Here they are. The lesser spotted cutie pie. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's something lovely. Cinnabar moth. Looks really fresh. Let's, let's hunt it down. <laughs> Look at it. Wearing its lovely warning colours. Don't eat me to the birds. Gonna taste bad, poisonous. Caterpillars really fond of eating ragwort, which they take on the ragwort, it's poison for themselves, and it carries on into the moth. And there she goes. Lovely stripy jersey wearing caterpillars that look just as gaudy as the moth. I think if I told you guys we'd just gone abroad for a few days, and we was in a Mediterranean spring meadow, I don't think I'd be pushing it. More wind noise. <laughs> Ooh, long day today. So, four o'clock alarm, all the way down to Hermitage School, which is right down, right down, if you like, the left hand side of the M25, if you're looking at a map of England, uh, just under 100 miles and the traffic's just getting ridiculous nearly three hours both ways absolutely ridiculous mostly m1 m25 but year on year gets more and more difficult I find it really tiring getting up early six hours traveling i only worked sort of i was in the school from half eight till half 12 but yeah full-on day anyway now it's about eight o'clock at night maybe a bit later now we've just mowed the center i'm not going to strim it's not too bad, it's not growing. I nearly didn't mow because of the heat wave. Things aren't growing, but it's looking beautiful. But yeah, still a bit to do. Go home tomorrow morning, crack on cleaning out those reptiles. Uh, and so it goes on. Let me show you something amazing. Now I'm colour blind, so I don't see I don't see red berries on a dark green bush unless Jackie points them out or I'm up close. I don't see a few poppers in a field unless Jackie points them out, but look at this. Seen from the trenches, I should think, in World War One. 
as seen from yesteryear when fields were ploughed and not sprayed heavily. Absolutely awe-inspiring beauty. I'm on the side of a road, but look at the beauty in front of me. Look at that. Very rarely nowadays you see a proper poppy field, I think, in England. Absolutely wonderful. Sorry about the sound quality again from the road noise, but do you know what? I'm sure this isn't doing it justice. But it is stop you in your tracks as we drive to work to the Fulkery Centre. The whole field packed with the beauty of nature. Look at that, even I can see glowing red. So I literally drove past that poppy field and I drove into the next village and on a, on a front lawn in the village, peace and quiet of the early morning, there was a little owl, literally chasing the insects with one of the blackbirds. Stopped the van to film it for you, got out of the van and he scampered off or flew off up to a little low tree. So no footage, but lovely, broad daylight, a little owl on the lawn with the blackbirds. But talking about this sort of interference and sound quality and picture quality, I said it before, I'll say it again. Guys, what can I do to make the vlogs or the other films better? It's your input that helps. And I know a lot of, a lot of you are going to say, you like them as they are and they're great. And I'm, yeah, that's brilliant. But if there's stuff I can do, whether it's visuals, sound, let me know. It might not be something I can achieve in the short term, but it can certainly be something I can achieve, maybe with better equipment and so on and so forth. Let me know. The content, everything, help me to make it more enjoyable for you. And thanks for watching. I'll see you a bit later in the video. This is always a lovely time of the day, at the weekend, before anyone comes. The sun's not out today. It's gonna be a little bit, we've had a bit of rain, a bit cool, which is a nice reprieve, but everything's just literally the fulcrum center at the beginning of the day and the end of the day. It's just peaceful. And that sums it up. Peaceful, but literally beautiful for the mind. It's a wonderful place to be and often at its best when you're on your own. Except late at night in the winter, if you have to come in for anything, yeah, it's very dark and a bit scary. Walkways down the garden here at Holdenby. What you can't see or what you can't smell is the beautiful heady smell. Have a look at this, look. This is mullein. A sort of a wild garden plant. I like it, it really looks nice, the flowers look great, but it attracts the, the mullein moth caterpillar. Well it attracts the mullein moth to lay its eggs on there. And they're gonna grow big and juicy. And I can tell you now. If left, they'll strip pretty much all the leaves off that plant, like that, but all the way down. You'll probably find the flowers are now going to survive. It'll flower and it won't kill the plant. I've had them strip these plants down to nothing and often the plant will still send up a, sh a few shoots when these caterpillars have matured and pupated, basically cleared off. And the plant will regenerate and it that's it, the plant will set seed and that will be the plant no more usually. But it's amazing how they'll survive this absolute feasting onslaught. And these beautiful caterpillars will still manage very often to flower and set seed. Tough, they really are. But this whole area is just heady with blossom. Beautiful flowers. It's all gone a little bit midsummery because of that heat wave. You know what I mean. It's lost that pureness of sort of late spring. And the flowers are running from the earlier flowers are running away now, running away. The foxgloves are going over slowly. But it is beautiful in Holdenby House Historic Gardens for sure. And we're very lucky that Icarus Fulker is based. <gasps> little vole just ran across there. It's based here. 
It is a wildlife haven. As is the wider estate. Very well managed by Steve, the gang keeper for a lot of wildlife. Every little bird just gone in there, but I think it's hopped away. So anyway, just a little insert into the vlog as I go about my weekend business from A to B. I just thought I'd show you down this lovely little walkway. And down there that you can't really see. It's absolutely covered in floating plants. There's a very large pond full of great crested news. One reason it smells nice is that honeysuckle. But certainly worth visiting us. Not just for the gardens, the tea room, but of course the falconry animals. Flying lawn over here. A lovely flying lawn. Lots to see. The aptly named Silver Border. And that's where you enter the Falconry Centre. But look at this, this really is in its glory right now. A lot of silver plants are designed to withstand hot sunny places so they've been thriving in fact looking in here there's a few things i wouldn't mind pinching for the falconry center i might have to send sue in for a rid of a sortie with a trowel when matt the gardener's not looking cooler morning the sun's just peeping out after the showers the smooth snakes out warming up for a few guys out in here, but I've just spooked them. But let me show you something else. So, I've been banging on about these outdoor enclosures for three years. Finally, look at this by the way. Look at it, just been here just for this spring. It's only just been planted. Insect heaven. Finally, materials have been ordered. I said in the last vlog, I've done something I said I'd never do again, and that is fill up my credit card for the Fulcrum Centre. But I have. We'll work it out somehow. Various different sheets of Perspex and acrylic there. And the main framework over there. And that's for this one and this one. Dennis is away for a while. He's going to crack on when he comes back, he said. Again, for free, to help. The way this place runs... You'll see something there very soon indeed. So these outdoor enclosures are really working well. We've had that massive heat wave, no problem at all. Check out the video up on the screen now from this week uh, to catch up on all the outdoor enclosures. But suffice to say, that blue beauty snake is chilling in the sun. Jackie's cornhole game is actually been so popular. She's um actually thinking about another kind of game, the other side in the shade. She's already started making it. Just to entertain people and give you some just these silly little things that make your day out here just that bit more special. Already people have been spying on the map turtle. The sun will be out soon and maybe the African mud turtle will be out with the mat turtles, we'll see. So I'm getting ready to fly one of the birds today at the weekend. We've got different birds here. Lana falcon, oh, sorry, Aplomado falcon, Lana falcon. And later on today, one of these three that's going to actually get flown. I'm going to swap you around, hold on. Is Manny the male Aplomado. He flew beautifully for me last weekend. So we're gonna see what he does today. Just an exquisite, beautiful bird of prey. Just watching the insects buzz by. Checking out the sky for bigger birds of prey. Look at that. That is a wonderful species of raptor. A little bit of lawn left here. I leave this patch every year. White clover. And for the bumblebees we have here, which we have a lot of, I'm really proud of the bumblebee population here, all different kinds. That's a really good food source, so I mow this off once they've actually gone through their flowering stage, because that patch there 
is really nice for the bees. Now something else I'd like to show you, hold on to yourself, it isn't this guy here, but let's have a look at him, because you just, you know, he's gorgeous, isn't he? Very much like a little owl, except with silly long legs of the burrowing owl. Look at this, just something else that Jess, Sue, Roy, our gardening team, between them, they're very, very creative. They work really hard. And Sue's repotted this. Just a simple display. She's even put in there what they are so people can enjoy, copy, mimic, whatever. But just silly little things. It makes this place what it is. It's the people that work so hard here. Every single one of them makes a full crew centre absolutely smashing. Look at the herbs. If you remember the old channel, which George has actually got going again now, it used to be called Raptor Exotics, uh, as you can imagine. Raptor Exotics full cream, I think. But these were little tiny couple of quid herbs that I planted in a little area I made. Look at that. How crazy is that? Tiny little dotted plants dotted in amongst there. Beautiful. That's what it's all about. Bringing it all together. Budley are flowering soon. Terrible weed from the Himalayas that encroaches on railway banks and all sorts in the UK. But if you want nectar in your garden for all kinds of insects, I'm sorry to say, it's one of the best summer plants for sure. So on a personal note, I am feeling so rough today. That it's hard when you've got to sort of entertain and, and it's hard just to work and it may feel rough. But um, yeah, if you drink for most of your life, many days of the week, and your body starts having dodgy pains, Take my advice, <laughs> just stop. <laughs> oh dear, I was up all night with some bad chest pains. But thankfully, although Jackie's at work as a nurse today, thankfully, Pam, one of our, our oldest, our longest serving volunteers, uh, she's took over yeah, the, the sort of side of wife and mother and she's plying me with juice and cups of tea uh, as fast as I can drink them. So yeah, thanks to Pam for that. And she's also helping me on the flying displays. We've just flown a spotted eagle owl. Absolute dynamite. And people love seeing an owl fly.